Hey guys, so we finally got around to making this video. It's been a long time coming. I mean, it's been so long that the Sky Wars tournament basically isn't relevant at all anymore. So rip all of my views and SEO. But I did promise that I'd make this video. I have a lot of thoughts and opinions to voice. And honestly, I feel like these changes being suggested for how tournaments could be managed in the future would really benefit Hypixel if they did do even more tournaments which is why I do want to get this video out there because I do have quite a few suggestions we're not just here to bash on the tournament because the tournament had a lot of shortcomings okay it was honestly a massive disappointment for a Sky Wars players and I'm not trying to sound ungrateful here I am super grateful that Hypixel went out to go ahead and organize a tournament host the tournament spend the entire weekend you know dedicating themselves to getting this tournament just right although you know obviously I don't think that quite went well, which is why I'm making this video. And of course, they made the tournament in my favorite game mode ever. So I am super grateful for that. It has been ages since I've been able to compete in a tournament on Hypixel. It's great to just have some fun, showcase your skill, and just like play against everybody in a competitive setting. Because let's be real, Rank Sky Wars isn't really the best competitive game mode out there. But the problem with the tournament is was that it wasn't Sky Wars. I think the reason they made it so non-Sky Wars-like was apparently for all of the non-Sky Wars players who wanted to play the tournament. I don't know if I've quite got that right, but basically I think they wanted to make it quite different from Solo Insane so anybody could jump in and have a chance because obviously all the people who have been playing Solo Insane for like the past four years would have a massive advantage. But the thing is, Sky Wars players should have a massive advantage. It's a Sky Wars tournament. It's not a PvP tournament. It's like if Fortnite went ahead and hosted a tournament and they removed building to make it fair for the PUBG players. People that play Fortnite should be rewarded in a Fortnite tournament. People that play Sky Wars should be rewarded in a Sky Wars tournament because it's a test of how good they are at Sky Wars. It's not a test of who's the best at PvP or whatever, which I don't really understand why they just went out and made this whole new game mode that nobody had ever played in Sky Wars before and then called it a Sky Wars tournament because we all just had to get used to this brand new mode that was broken overpowered so look oriented it's unreal and only ever rewards more stacked players with more stacked gear the thing is in sky wars right you can have absolutely nothing someone else can be at middle they're getting all the mid chests you know they have ender pearls golden apples maybe like a prop 4 helmet or something then you go and sneakily loot one chest and you have a prop 4 chest play now you know you can compete against that guy Prop 4 is super, super strong, and even though you only got one mid chest, you actually have a fighting chance now. But that didn't exist in Crazy Solo Insane. Instead, there were these notoriety swords and notoriety armor, which gave you sharpness and protection on kill. So the stacked players only got more stacked, and then if you didn't get to middle and didn't get any of these items, you had zero chance. I mean, if you got super unlucky, you didn't get any mid chest, you spent the whole game getting chased by 50 people, you've used up all your healing, you have like a sharpness two diamond sword, you're in full prop one diamond armor, there's another dude off with like five kills, he has sharp five, full protection for what are you supposed to do there is literally nothing you can do and the thing is stacked players only ever get more stacked right so they kill somebody they get all their loot they're, they're carrying like 50 different kits from all the people they've killed they've got all the potions all the golden apples which like in solo insane you know that's not so much of a problem because like i said if you just loot one mid chest and get a prop four chest plate you're pretty much on the same level as them it's actually kind of fair but with this notoriety armor, you had no chance. These stack players had all these items and were then donning full prop four with a sharpness five sword. Like, come on, that is so unfair. It's unreal. And it's one of the many flaws with the tournament. When they first announced the tournament and said it was gonna be this juiced up solo insane with more consistent loot, I thought that sounded so promising and so amazing because the problem with doing a tournament in Solo Insane is it's very luck based. Half the time you don't even get a full set of armor from your spawn. In fact, I'd say probably more often than not. You get Stone Sword, which like if you get that and you don't get a chest plate and you come across someone who got full diamond and a sharpness diamond sword off their island, there is nothing you can do unless you're literally a god at PvP or get lucky with the mid chests. So 
I, I see why they wanted to do a different version of the game mode and obviously having mid loot be a bit more consistent because if you got to middle and there were just enchant bottles and arrows like what are you really going to do if they maybe made it so there's more enderpals across all the chests but fewer enderpals and then armor was a bit more consistent you can maybe get pants from middle those would all be super super great changes that I would have loved to see in the game make it so you always get eggs or always get a rod on your island and maybe even always a guaranteed potion like speed or regen just to balance it out a bit i mean i know sky wars is supposed to be a little bit luck oriented but they just went so overkill with the tournament it became even more luck based like yeah you got a full set of armor from your island that was awesome but then you could either get like a sharp two fire aspect diamond sword or a sharpness two iron sword like what are you supposed to do with a sharpness two iron sword against somebody in full prot notoriety armor there is literally nothing that you can do and i swear they reduced the spawns of rods and eggs they recently changed it in solo insane so you always get rods or eggs on your island in fact i can't really remember the last time i played solo insane and didn't get those things but in the tournament for some reason they changed that you weren't guaranteed rods or eggs so if you didn't get a rod or eggs you're pretty much screwed especially in a really competitive game mode like rotting is a very very fundamental part of pvp and you take that away from a really competitive setting it just blows my mind dude it makes no sense and then sometimes you could get loads of potions prop one armor and then other times you get a sharpness two diamond sword no potions and no protection armor it's it was so much more unbalanced like the mid loot i feel apart from the armor it was actually pretty good like the fact you could go and get a couple of ender pearls maybe a pretty strong sword that was cool i would have liked to have seen those changes in, in like the actual tournament itself but then the notoriety armor the fact that you literally you could just rush middle and there were no punishments for it that bit is ludicrous dude i mean mid loot is supposed to be strong rushing middle and controlling middle is like the goal of sky wars you are always supposed to do that but you can't do that in solo insane it's a terrible strategy because the, you will never get pants from middle so you always have less gear than someone that stays on that island i mean unless you're me and you basically don't get pants any game uh swords are super rare at middle so basically you'd be left with no weapon and also it was a complete gamble you didn't know what you were gonna get but in the tournament you could just rush middle you were pretty much guaranteed a full set of armor and a really strong sword so there's zero need to just stay on your island and loot any of those chests and that's why everybody just ran the frog kit and it was so rampant everywhere because there was literally no need to loot your island chests they were made completely redundant you could just rush middle and there was literally zero punishment for doing that and that really is like the biggest flaw of the tournament because like i said sky wars is all about mid control and the thing is like mid control it has high risk but high reward in solo insane and in the tournament it was just like high reward zero risk because you could just rush over loot like two chests you'd be full diamond with this awesome sword and the win's basically yours as long as you get a kill or two and get like sharpness four and protection three furthermore whose idea was it to add punch bows to the mid chests literally there was a perk in ranked sky wars that was the most broken perk ever that got removed because it gave you one punch arrow shot after you got a kill literally you got a kill and then your next arrow like even if you missed it like that would be the end of the perk you had to hit that one arrow and it would have punch on it and it would be ridiculously overpowered you could literally just one shot anybody off the map that's why they removed it but they thought for this tournament for the most competitive thing sky wars has ever seen let's bring back the punch bow but not in a perk this time you just get infinite shots to just shoot anybody off the map you want what were they thinking fire was also way too strong in the tournament if you got a fire aspect sword on your island the win was basically yours with the lack of healing the lack of on kill perks you didn't have the fire protection boots like you have in solo insane which basically makes fire useless fire was just ridiculously strong and i know you could use kits to counter it but let's be real if you didn't use the frog kit you were basically throwing literally all they needed to do was add solo insane make it so you get guaranteed full armor on your island 
always rods and eggs maybe even always one potion i don't know speed regen or something just to keep you in the game make mid loot like more consistent and more spread out so instead of having like everything in one chest spread it out across loads of chests ender pearls in smaller stacks got gapples in smaller stacks maybe up the rate of the armor spawns i don't know about leggings because again it's about the rushing middle with a massive risk kind of factor because like i said just rushing middle and being able to get full diamond was the dumbest thing ever but enough about the game mode now it's time to move on to the actual tier system the tier system was so incredibly flawed it was unreal literally all you needed to do to get to the top tier was win five games in a row that's nothing for veteran skywars players literally after my first five games of the tournament I was in Grandmaster and I really wasn't expecting for it to be that way. I thought it would be based on the amount of points you had or something like that. I think that would have been much better than just based on winning several games in a row because then all you literally needed to do was camp. Like camping became such a massive issue because if you placed in the top three, you'd either stay in your current tier or tier up. So you could literally just camp every single game. I think the tiers should have definitely been like points based. So maybe like 2000 points would have been Grandmaster or something. That would have been a lot better in my opinion. And also the tiers just punished you for being good. I dreaded getting into Grandmaster games because like I said, all you need to do was win five games in a row. Who's going to win five games in a row? Really good players and bee hoppers who are completely unkillable. They'll just rise through the ranks instantly and then just hop on everybody in the Grandmaster division. That's literally how it was. The perfect games were like Diamond. Diamond was like good players and Masters. Masters were like all the good players slash kind of closet cheaters who kept dying to the bee hoppers in Grandmaster division. So really Masters was like the real Grandmaster. Those Diamond and Master games were fun, but I seriously dreaded leveling up and going into Grandmaster because you lost so many points for dying and you literally just wasted time in the tournament it it was just terrible man and moreover in the master and grandmaster games you were disguised which doesn't sound like so much of a problem until you consider that basically all of the players are cheating so you can't identify who the cheaters are maybe like target them or run away from them or watchdog report them no everyone's disguised so people can just hop around freely you don't know which one the bee hopper is going to be you can keep running into the same dude over and over again and they'll have a different name each time watchdog reporting them was tedious i don't know if it was just me but when you did slash wdr and then the little nickname it didn't always work it was really really strange and then the hackers just never got banned you could be using the most blatant things the guy who placed like number three on the leaderboards was one of the first b hoppers i ran into on the first day of the tournament i watchdog reported him immediately didn't get banned the whole tournament and ended up placing number three I mean, he got banned afterwards, but still, how, when you're cheating that blatantly for a total of eight hours, placing number three on the leaderboards and fighting and getting watched or reported by that many people, how does he not get banned? Were there no staff playing this? I, I don't understand what went wrong. And that moves me on to my final point, moderation. Nearly one out of five players in the top 100 were cheating. That's two players in every game you played at like Masters or Grandmasters division on average that were cheating. That is ridiculous. Could you imagine if like Fortnite had a tournament or something and 20 of the top 100 players were cheating? I mean, I think it was like 17 in total, but we're rounding up for the sake of like maths. Like one fifth of the players in the top 100 were cheating and that's only the ones that were caught we all know that watchdog and hypixel in general aren't the greatest at detecting like small vape settings or whatever so like there's probably plenty more closet cheaters in the top 100 who made their way in there probably cheated and never got caught the cheating problem was absurd it literally felt like staff members didn't really play this game or moderate it at all because in the top five alone i think there were what like two or three the number one and the number three were both cheating and they both ended up getting banned afterwards which i'm grateful for but still how the heck do you make it through the entire 
entire tournament cheating that hard and not get banned after eight hours of just b hopping that literally blows my mind i don't know where they went wrong with the moderation i've never been disappointed in hypixel's moderation before they've always been pretty good watchdog has been exceptional lately but lately the b hoppers have just completely run rampant and i don't know why hypixel don't employ some kind of tournament staff so if you didn't know back in like summer 2014 they ran this junior helper scheme which was when i actually got staff i became a junior helper because they knew that summer was going to introduce a load of new players and they didn't have enough staff to moderate the chat so what they did was they made this junior helper rank you couldn't mute people but you know you had direct contact with the staff you had like a blue name so you had some authority on the server and you were obviously linked with all the staff and you only had to be 14 instead of 16 so obviously they had all these junior helpers in the lobbies helping out which really relieved a lot of the stress on all of the other staff members why didn't they employ some kind of tournament staff system you know like moderators who don't actually have the ability to ban people because obviously that'd be overpowered you know you just hire someone and give them permission to ban everybody in like two days no that's not a good idea but you know giving them the ability to like fly around and spectate games and record cheaters and forward it to actual moderators who could then ban them that sounds like a perfect idea. Why did they not do that? Whenever there's a tournament, literally hire some tournament staff for two days. They get the ability to fly around these games. You know, if you wanted to limit it, you could don't even make it so they could only teleport in these tournament games. So they can't even teleport into any game they want. They can only spectate the tournament games. No permission to ban people whatsoever. They can just record evidence put it in a staff chat and then actual moderators ban them. Boom, that I've just solved everything, dude. I don't know why they didn't think of this before. Just literally hire tournament staff for two days, the weekend the tournament's on, they send the evidence, they get banned, everything's all good i'm sure so many people would volunteer to do that dude everybody loves applying for staff on minecraft servers for some reason and obviously if you also took these people out of the tournament so maybe if you were like tournament staff you couldn't actually play the tournament yourself because obviously how are you supposed to really moderate it if you're playing it that would remove any kind of incentive or bias i mean obviously they could maybe have friends who they're biased towards but again you can moderate the tournament staff easily get a few people to manage them it would be such a great system i'm sure like people will probably discover more flaws but to me right now it sounds like an amazing idea and i think it's something they should definitely consider for future tournaments but anyway that does it for this video guys that's pretty much all of my thoughts on the sky wars tournament how i thought it could have been better and how i think they should manage tournaments going forwards because there's so many just slight things that if you know they just change this or just change that the tournament would have been a much better experience say if like once they discovered the nick system wasn't working it was just hiding hackers just disable it that would have made the tournament so much better you know they even acknowledged this themselves in the post they said we're not gonna have like disguised games in the future because it just made the hacker problem worse well if they figured this out they should have just like turned it off halfway through the tournament or something and i guess obviously it's unfair to everybody that's already placed or whatever but like hackers they're gonna get banned either way like we saw at the end of the tournament 17 in the top 100 they got banned and everyone got their rightful places so if it's just people getting banned that doesn't really affect people who have already qualified i really think they shouldn't be afraid to make changes on the fly in the tournament if it's to better the experience of the majority but i trust that hypixel knows what they're doing and will learn from their mistakes and hopefully tournaments will be better in the future and maybe this video may have been a part of it so if it is then my work here is done i guess leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all next time peace epic three letters don't forget it pronounce soul but i got soul in excess the next best to the best but the best ain't rain yet so i guess we all kings yes a rising tide will raise all boats but if you throw stones